Hi, it's Restaurant Pro Tools Expert, and I wanted to discuss the Renaissance base, which is currently free if you're watching this on Thanksgiving weekend 2013 uh, as a free giveaway from Waves. And I suppose the question people are probably asking is, what is it first and is it worth grabbing anyway? Uh, now, some people just think it's just a base booster. Uh, and in some ways that couldn't be further from the truth because the cool thing about it is that actually it's really helpful for when you're using uh, or playing back music on sound systems that don't have any real bass frequency uh, like uh, uh, laptops or if you're listening on a radio and stuff like that or if you're listening quietly. We hear a lot about making things louder but the cool thing about Renaissance bass is that it uh, enables you to have stuff at quieter volumes but still be able to hear the bass. And it does that by using a an algorithm that basically uh, creates harmonics of the low bass and pushes them further up the spectrum. It adds missing fundamentals is the best way to say it. And uh, it reconstructs those and puts them across a timeline. So if you can imagine a timeline with the bass at the lowest point, let's say at 50 hertz, it will then create harmonics of that further up. So when you play it quietly, you can hear it. But also, of course, it can add bass that wasn't there in the first place, which is really nice as well. So I've got it on three things. I've got it on a bass synth. I've got it on boom, a, a beatbox, and I've got it on a loop as well. And I want to show, show you it and show you in action. It's very straightforward to use. And what you have is you have a frequency control where you choose the the fundamental frequency it starts with, then an intensity, and then we have a gain control where we can turn it up and down as well. And this is the input, and this is the recreated frequencies, and then this is the output at the end, and there's a peak light as well. Now what you can do as well is you can actually remove, if you want, the original frequency from it, or put it back in, or keep it in. So that's what that is there for as well. So you can mix it in or take it out altogether. So let me show you on three things. So first I've got here a bass synth, it's Vacuum Pro. And first I will turn it off. In fact, what I'll do is I'll turn the intensity down and then just bring it in. So let's play it, and I've got it at 50 hertz for about, around about there. There's the original. Stop bringing it in. Now, if you've got a sub on now, you'll start to hear something happening. If I bypass that again, you can hear now you've got quite a nice bass sound, but with that in, you've got this really nice low sub bass going on. So in a club environment, that would be really nice. So that's at 50 hertz, and if we go to the, the, uh, the beat, and let's have a look at this one, again at 50 hertz. And I'll show you this time, I'll start moving it down the spectrum. So there now, you've got that lovely about 42 hertz. There's the original. And there's the intensity, it's really kicking in this time. So you could, if you wanted to, take it back a bit. Or really push it in if you want to. Almost get sort of, kind of flappy bass now. If you can help now, you can start to hit, hit in the toms. There's the original. Let's hit on, a, on a, a loop now. Now you can see I've got this at 97 this time. It's much higher. So there's the original. Because what I don't want to do is have all of these fighting each other, all doing the same frequency. I want to make sure we're not clipping. Let's take the uh, click track out as well. Let's hear the three of them together now. Take it out. So you see you've got lots 
of the MIDI information back in, everything else back in. So what you can then do is start adjusting it so it's a little less extreme. Take some of that loop as well. again. Now here's the magic of it and this is why I wanted to say that the great thing is that then if I listen to it lower volumes right, right down here this is why it's so useful. If we take it all back out again, there's the original. You can hear there the bass, even at low volume, because it's reconstructing those harmonics further up the frequency range so your ear can hear them again. It's cool if you put like a bass guitar on a rock track and you and you have it really really with low sub in, and then you you turn that right down on let's just say something like a uh, on a small on a small uh, radio or something like that you can't hear. It. And this is why Renaissance bass is so cool. So yes, it's free, but it's not free because it's rubbish. It's very very useful and well worth using. Now uh, uh, some mixers actually use it on f mastering on on final mixes just to add some some bottom end in that, that's missing and just to fill in that bottom end. So I've given you a very quick show and tell of how it works and just three examples. But there are a lot more you could use it on the kick drum in a kit and all sorts of stuff. But it's, so it's not just a loudness button. It's not just a bass maximizer. It has far more to do with actually creating those harmonic frequencies further up so that you can hear them at lower volumes. Download the demo and try it for yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>